Investigation Day 2. Hey, hey, Apollo! Um, well, you know, um, actually, nothing. <laughs> I mean, something. Very important. Or maybe not. Ow! <laughs> well, you know, the trial, I was thinking, if game score, what? Oh, why? <laughs> who cares about this? You know what? The, the judge didn't get in a triple axle, so I'm going to put in a seven. What's going on? <laughs> No, really the problem that we have here is that we don't know what the frick's going on. In basically, nothing happened whatsoever. Exactly. Until the chick identified Darian as the killer. Yeah, we Which... also found out that the chick is blind. Yeah. Oh, and this, the secret agent dude. This whole thing has just turned into... Well, the, at first it was just kind of like a giant... Uh, Crap shoot. But now we have like a legitimate locked room mystery with a legitimate guy we can put in the room. Somehow. <laughs> oh, you wanna know a fun fact? Oh sure. And not only was like the first one of the first full-fledged mysteries a locked room mystery, but there's also like a locked room mystery in the Bible. There is? Yeah, technically. Do tell. There's a story about uh a weird like idol that people were worshiping who could uh, consume offerings in a sealed room but they found out that the priest just could enter the sealed room and take out the offering so it's like oh shucks it wasn't magic but I remember that story was oh yeah I remember that that was cool see it's, these things are freaking old and they're yeah. actually like two already isn't I there? forget um I don't know that much but yeah I remember that locked room mystery story. <laughs> I don't remember the details because I haven't read it since I was like a kid, but uh... Yeah. Yeah. Great, now I want to go read the Bible. <laughs> but we have to talk. Dude, I'm seriously curious to read that story again. Do you know, like, <laughs> where in the Bible that is? That is a good question. Damn it. Daniel story. I don't, oh, I don't that makes like sense as like a Daniel like, story. But which book of the Bible was Daniel? Or is it like Daniel? <laughs> it's just... It's so weird just how <laughs> often these things actually can come up. Yeah. And here we are doing another one. Although... This... We have a lot to deal with considering the... Not only do we have to get Darian into a locked room, but off stage to kill someone, so... Yeah. Maybe the Darian on stage is a fake, or is it a twin twist again? You know, we'll find out, because I have forgotten. So okay, I'm good, so it's a be fun for both of us. Maybe something will click like it did with the last game, but I... I'm kinda off right now. Yeah, I remember when it clicked for you in the last game. You're like, oh, I remember this, this is awesome. Yeah. It was like somewhere in the last case I remember that you got really excited. <laughs> the last case of Charles and Tribulations, that is. Not turn back quarter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's innocent. Who's in here now? Don't we lock the doors when we don't want anyone here? <laughs> Who gets to just barge into our main office like this? Why is it Mr. Hat the second? Whoa! Oh, hey, it's uh, the guy that looks like Banana. Yeah. Trucy? No I'm kidding. Wait, no, that was. I meant to say Athena because she dresses in yellow too. <laughs> but I slipped and said Trucy. That's true. They give everyone a different color, just in case you can't remember their faces. <laughs> well, if you're colorblind, though, the game just looks like that flashback the whole time. Anyway, you're stalking us now. 
He's not. Is that a smirk? It's hard to tell if that mustache. Oh, what the? <laughs> what? You didn't recognize him? From what? Is that black part his hair? Yes. That's crazy hair. It's like Final Fantasy hair. We'll ignore it. Uh, yeah, you're right. It is Final Fantasy hair. You're gonna give us money or make magic money appear for us? <laughs> I am. I hope it's not this guy, because he's awesome. Don't get too attached, but, uh, <laughs> it, it, that would be, wouldn't that be unfair if it was him? Well, not necessarily. <laughs> I guess we gotta get to know him first before we decide. That's true. Just like how well we got to know Darian. Yeah. Ah, more stuff. I actually recently learned about them in Spirit of Justice. <laughs> That's the only useful thing you'll learn there. What Troop Gamora is. Oh yeah! <coughs> Wait, it blew up an amusement park? I'm pretty sure it's not magic. That is okay. not. You're stealing all of David Copperfield's specials. This doesn't count. <laughs> well, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't keep up with that kind of stuff, so I can't guess. It's old stuff, that's why. Okay. Well, well, the that's... last time there's ever been like a magic special on TV. They used to be every year. CBS went out, and they were like, big showing. That sounds like something awesome that CBS would do. Although, for some reason, I feel like that'd be more ABC than CBS to do something like that. Oh, crud, it wasn't ABC. <laughs> what do you know? The magic of David Copperfield on what? The first one was actually named after the channel. Okay. No, no, I think I was right to start with. Was, CBS? Yeah, I think it was CBS. Alright. I... I as soon as you put it in my head, I was like, wait, I don't know anymore. <laughs> that does not seem like something that CBS would do, though. When I think of CBS, I think of not the CBS Nightly News and The Price is Right. And Jeopardy. And Judge Judy. <laughs> and I get... Is Big Bang Theory CBS, too? <laughs> Yeah, you know, there's just no place to put these things into the schedule anymore, I suppose. But. Yeah. We got replaced with Ellen DeGeneres' Game of Games. You don't got time to watch the guy spin his cane anymore. Oh, sure. Wait, what's this guy telling us? He's talking about how, how he saw us at uh, the uh, play, the concert place, and he was like, Oh, I was so full of emotions that I cried oceans. Okay. <coughs> We're not done yet. Also, it's not Trucy doing this. Even though she did practically everything in case two. Okay, thank you. This is the thing, besides the whole family business. Which is good, because we have no time for this family business. That's <laughs> case four. Oh, sweet. Spoilers. Case four is family. Oh, uh, this again. 
sugar, sugar, all that night in your embrace. When you what the frick is he looking at? Away the keys. My heart held on so tight. Up we go. These are pleasure. <laughs> but a fleeting. Melody. When did she turn into William Shatner? <laughs> it wraps itself around me. Oh, I saw a little spark in the guitar. Is that when the fire started? I think so. That was impressive. <laughs> He's like, here we go. Yeah. Time to do a Janet Jackson. Like, <laughs> everything stayed in place. Except her. She disappeared. <laughs> Toss though, if that actually reached its exact destination. They probably use some no, gimmick though. That's yeah, probably on a string, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. We're gonna have to spoil this anyway because it's important. Mm hmm. <laughs> I love that part at the end where he's just trying to smash the fire <laughs> out. <laughs> I. The question is though, how well does this help? Ah, uh, this again. Alrighty, where's who? Oh, you can present the video tape. Oh, just present like, what, what we just got. Man? Why did you give us this? The floating cape one? Oh, that one, yeah. A petit? Oh, that's a big word. Prestigation. I guess we need someone to speak in riddles for us, anyway. We hadn't had anyone yet. And sadly, we won't be seeing Edgeworth, so I know, I guess that one. Thing. Did you just call yourself a god? <laughs> Are, can you be more awful? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of I, I'm predisposed to that guy? Not liking him just a little bit. So Okay. We'll all be in that boat a little later, but not yet. Yeah. Well, we're already in the same boat regarding Clavier, so is it gonna be another guy like that, or worse? Um... We'll, we'll figure it out. Alright, yeah, that's probably a good answer for now. <laughs> Tracy, switch sides! The magician rule. That... Gonna end up just having a magician's like that. duel, that'd be fun. Trucy versus Valance. Valance. See you later, crocodile. Oh, he just leaves after that. Sure. Vanish. <laughs> Normally. Let's get cracking. You have to track him down first. <coughs> Don't overthink it, Apollo. <laughs> Let's move to the detention center. Ah, what's that? What's, oh, is this? What is that place? Is that where we were? Yes, I believe so. I think we can just go to the outside now. Okay. That's an interesting name for a place, though. The Sunshine Coliseum. Is that what pops back up for, um... Spirit of Justice? Or is that a different one? Uh, I should know this. I did that case a while back, but I don't remember. <coughs> I don't think so, though. 
Uh, there, I guess this town has room for plenty of them. Yeah, they got People Park and Vitamin Square, after all. <laughs> you know, I'm going to check real quickly regarding that. While we talk. <laughs> so, <laughs> we showed up just to advance the plot. And that's literally it. <laughs> Seriously? Yep, we're sending our feelings his way, and that is literally it, because he still can't speak. Well, that's sad. But we can tell him stuff. Yep. Alrighty. You can talk about the stuff. Is it going to be useful, or will this be a waste of time? You do have to talk about all of it, even though it's worthless. Fine. Just like pressing Emma. It's Penrose Theater. Uh oh. Oh, wait a minute! I'm assuming we can present that and something will happen? Wait. We cannot. No. Okay, but yeah, it's Penrose Theater in Spirit of Justice. Okay. Appreciate it. No problem. Ahem. <coughs> Oh, come on, Apollo. Give it one more go. Maybe he'll actually recognize it. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't just happen in court, Apollo. It... <clears throat> oh. Are we going to reveal that he Freaking speaks heck. English? If he can't speak English, I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> this... How can this kid lie about everything? I don't believe it. Well, the chick lied. The chick lied about being being room. able to see. With two people talking in, across from him, they're supposed to be. Does he even know we're not helping him? Who knows? I don't see how he would. There's one thing left. I guess we should talk about it. I would. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, the last thing we want to do is play a game. I remember we play the game where it's like, we don't have to talk to Maya right off the bat. Yes, we do. Yeah, because it wouldn't advance the plot. And it's like, are you kidding? Well, that's that. Now we can go to the Coliseum. Alrighty. But first... And now... Well, that's fine. The detention center's just off in, like, the corner of town where... All the delinquents are, or something. It's weird. Yeah. There's blimps this place here. Is fancy. It's very futuristic. I'll say that much. What a weird universe. <clears throat> is that a tour blimp up there? It says tour on it. Yeah. I know. Like who? Who owns blimps? I don't know. I didn't even think blimps were really big. Um, well, <laughs> I think actually Goodyear and MetLife own almost all of them. <laughs> that would make sense. Just for making the commercials. And just to show up at sporting events. I'm pretty sure that's almost all of them. Cool. We can examine it, too. Look, a blimp! <clears throat> Big sale, all shirts 50% off. Oh, and that one says, uh, three shots for the price of one. <laughs> I'm kidding, but, you know, it's fun. We'll go ahead and move to the backstage hallway. Yeah. It would've been, they should have done that, though. Kept that trend going where it's like, it's a blimp advertisement for the clinic. <laughs> Why is she just hanging around 
here. What is her life anyway without <laughs> when, when she's not doing the singing and whatnot? What? <laughs> Sad and depressing. What? Talkie talkie! The voice! Now airing on NBC. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame, you know, NBC could have probably passed a lot of money to say that when we got to that part, but they didn't, which is a shame. No way! crazy to be honest. That's 100% true. It is so weird. This, this entire story just doesn't make the most sense. I feel like that's what they go for, though. <laughs> Pretty much. The one thing I still want to know, and it doesn't really relate to this case at all, but how did Luke Atme's nose fit under Master Mask's mask? It is the... There's... It's a paradox that is never going to be solved. That's a shame. That it's truly a nonsensical, uh, somehow completely missed facet of that entire case. <laughs> yeah. Unless this nose is fake. Dang it, that's just a weird thought. <laughs> but there, <laughs> at this point, but you can. It is a huge flaw. Let's let's face it. It is. It's, it's one that sticks out like a sore thumb, but <laughs> we're gonna have to move on until I do, until I play that game again, in which case we will never move on. Yeah. If you play that game again, I am totally watching it through again. That game It just might be a while. We have this one to get through after all. That's true. And uh, literally, we're just talking about things we don't know because it's like, oh, what, what the heck were you doing? Before you were blind, were you yeah. like an assassin? <laughs> no, uh, let's present the videotape. Alright. We're gonna be talking, we're presenting, and probably have to specify later the flying cake part. What does the check button do on the tape? Can you watch it? I wanna know. Let's get through this first and then find out. You probably could. I'm gonna save state though, so you don't have to watch the whole thing through unless you want to. <laughs> One we saw, right? 
and we never Oh yeah, up. it's still right there. <laughs> Gosh, the cops suck. <laughs> Don't they always touch it? Yeah, one of them killed a guy. Well, if it's the killer's headset. It could be. No! Not like I would hurt it. <laughs> well, what if there's ear prints on it that Emma needs to analyze? What if someone spit into it? Come on, we need to check these things. Go ahead and present that immediately again. Alrighty. The tape again? Oh, the headset. I'm sorry. Okay. The first... It is. Yeah, you can fast forward. Watch the entire thing all over. Oh, it just goes back and forth. It part. doesn't end on its own anyway. That was kind of weird, though. If you, you can't hear it, I'm and it's sad because of the way technology is. But it was kind of funny the way the song was when you're just pressing fast forward a lot. Oh, are we gonna have to specify something in the tape later. That seems like you can get around that. This is the future. Mm. All right. Anyway, we need the, that information, and let's move to a different part of this place. We can. All right. The, uh, There's a lot. Move to the stage. All righty. 